Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna get started here and um, get started on our presentation. So thank, thank you everybody for attending the PUSD College and Career Showcase. I myself am Jamal Felton. I work at Rancho Bernardo High School here in the Powell Unified School District. Um, I will be your host and your moderator. Um, we ask that attendees keep themselves muted unless otherwise, unless asked otherwise during the presentation. But feel free to use the chat to ask questions during the session. There will be time to speak uh, to the presenter at the end of the pre presentation. As a reminder, the session is being recorded. Um, and now I am happy to introduce Andrew Carrier from Zello uh, with the presentation with the presentation here to speak to us. The title of the presentation is called What Should I Be When I Grow Up? How to Know What Your Strengths, Interests, and Values Align with Your Post-Secondary Plan. So without further ado, Andrew, I'll let you take it away. Awesome, thank you. Um, just one quick question. Could you uh, enable me with screen sharing capabilities? Absolutely, sir. One second here, Andrew. I'm just going to unpin you. Yep. And sorry, that took me a second. And now you are co host of the meeting. Awesome. Good. Full power. There we go. this. Perfect. All right. Well, welcome, everyone. For those that don't know, I'm joining you from Eastern Canada. Nightfall here. It's dark out. Spooky, as we were talking about earlier. Hope you're all having a good evening. Hope this will be a great part of your evening, right? As we we're just talking about, we're going to be discovering a little bit more about Zello in terms of a platform, but really just giving you an opportunity to see my side of the conversation, to share a little bit more with you. Um, and then from there, we'll open up a little bit of a discussion. We'll have some questions a little bit later, but to get into things, I do want to take an opportunity to introduce myself, to also introduce Julia, who is um, another member of our training team here at Zello and will be working in the chat. So if you have any questions today, don't hesitate to ask those in the chat. You can always let us know what you're thinking, anything that you may need. Um, at the end of the day, and I'll be opening up here. Our, there we go. Should be able to see this now. Perfect. Perfect. So with this, again, we do have a tool that we're using today called Mentimeter. Now, I invite everyone, if you have a phone or a tablet, or if you just want to open up, another browser page or another tab on your browser, feel free to answer the icebreaker question, which is, was there ever a food you were afraid to eat, but loved it once you tried it? So head on over to menti.com and use the code 9614126. As an alternative, I'll be sharing a link in the chat. So if anyone prefers using the link in the chat, don't hesitate to click on the link and answer the question that's been added. So go to menti.com, use the code 9614126. That'll give you access to our Mentimeter conversation, which we're going to be reusing quite a bit today to kind of give everyone an opportunity to share some of their thoughts along the way. And for myself, a food, and I guess this is maybe with Halloween in mind, there was a food that I was afraid to eat. Um, again, I'm an East Coast Canadian. For those of you that don't know, if you just go east of the state of Maine, there's a province in Canada called New Brunswick. And uh, that's where I'm from personally, a French speaker from there. And such a food called poutine de And if you're not familiar with poutine de it's basically potatoes that are boiled and 
you basically put a surprise in the middle. So it can either be, you know, a meat or it can be vegetable. Um, it's a very otherworldly type food because you don't see it anywhere else. But um, I was a little bit afraid to eat that when I was a kid because they don't necessarily smell great because it's basically just a bunch of boiled potatoes and salt. Um, but uh, finally did try it and uh, it ended up being great. So, um, yeah, feel free again. Go to mentimeter.com or I should say menti.com. Use the code 9614-0126. Now, to talk a little bit more, and we'll go take a look at everyone's answers in a moment here, but today's conversation is going to start off with what is Zello? So I do want to take an opportunity to talk a little bit more about what the platform is. We'll start off with a short video to introduce the platform. We will then talk a little bit more about what Zello is. I'm going to jump into the platform itself, talking about how we can discover Zello and leverage it. Then I have a little sneak peek for our parents out there in the room today. We have a family portal. We'll talk a little bit more about what that is and what you'll have access to. And if there are any additional questions, as mentioned earlier, we'll have some time at the end to answer those as well. Let's take a quick look. As we see here, quite a few answers. Some folks have said no. That there are no food foods that we were ever afraid to eat. Some people are saying squid and candy corn, anything from chipotle, fried tofu, eggplants, lobster, a lot of great answers here. Korean barbecue, avocado, used to despise pickles because they were told they were cucumbers and like the taste of cucumbers. But as soon as I tried it, I ate it and now I eat it more than anything. Spicy foods because they're spicy, right? A ton of different, inf and again, let's have fun today. Let's keep these answers exciting, right? So as we open up today's conversation, and I'm going to start off here by sharing a short video on the screen. You'll all see this video in just a moment. And here we go. Start with a short video. And you should be able to hear this in just a few moments. You're juggling a lot as a student. Between school and the rest of your life, there's so much to think about. And looming large on that list is your future. You know your future is important, but it can also be hard to imagine. That's where Zello can help. Zello is all about your future and can help you create a map to get there. You'll start by thinking about who you are today. What do you like to do? What do you not like to do? What are you good at? Who you are today can give you clues about who you might become. Next, get ready to explore. What options are out there? Explore beyond what you know, beyond your town or city, beyond the jobs of people you know, beyond jobs you've ever heard about. Follow your curiosity from a favorite subject to a related job, to a job related to that job, to all the pathways you could take to get there. You may end up somewhere completely unexpected. Time management, job interviews, career biases, money. You'll learn about these topics and lots more. Plus, you'll be able to use this kind of knowledge to help you make decisions along the way. When you find a path you might want to take, use Zello to create a map, a plan that you can follow into your future. Set some goals to use as guideposts. Goals can keep you motivated, focused, and excited. Completing goals can give you a feel-good boost to keep you going. Turns out, thinking about your future can be pretty fun. But you may have moments where it feels overwhelming. In those moments, remember, everything can change. You can change your mind. You can change your plans. You can change. And Zello will be there to change right along with you. Like Harper.
All right. So short video, right? Short video. But the idea behind mm -hmm. Zello is to provide everyone with four things. Right? So provide everyone with four things. And to give you a little bit of my background, I started off as a teacher. Um, I now do what is called corporate training, as you can obviously see here. But the idea behind Zello is to, to walk everyone in the room today through basically four aspects. Those four aspects are building self-knowledge, right? Because you'll hear a lot about, you know, being ready for the future, being ready for, for either choosing a pathway, whether that be through career. But the idea is that you need to start defining your interests and your skills and your preferences, um, which will eventually lead you to understanding the different possibilities that are out there. Um, at the end of the day, it's more than just saying what exists out in the world. It's about, you know, looking internally and asking yourself, you know, what makes you happy, right? What makes you successful? And that could be anything at all, right? It could be absolutely anything at all. But once you've decided these two things, right, what makes you happy? What opportunities make the most sense to you? You'll start building a plan. And through the building of that plan, you'll start learning and reassessing. Right. And for myself, as I mentioned earlier, I started off as a teacher because ultimately in, in the city that I was from wasn't a whole lot of, of options. And I became a teacher because I wanted to, to, to help. I wanted to educate, but I also wanted to travel the world. Right, I wanted to do both at the same time. And I couldn't find something that offered both until I became a corporate trainer, which gave me the opportunity to go on the road, to visit new cities, to visit new countries. And the idea was to become something that fulfilled everything or every metric that would make me happy. So I do ask everyone, I do ask everyone, if you want to take a moment, if you still have Mentimeter opened up, the next question I ask everyone is, what comes to mind when you hear the words future readiness? So if I just tell you that my goal and your educator's goal at the school Zello's goal as, as a company is to help you become future ready. What does that mean to you? What comes to mind? If you want to take a moment, go to Mentimeter and share your thoughts on what you think it is to become future ready. And as some are answering that, we'll slide over here and take a quick look. Right? College, job, work, life, being prepared, learning how to escape, independence, being educated, having a plan, knowing what marketable skills you possess. And so the idea again is to build something that makes sense for you. And I'm not the one here today that's going to tell everyone or to tell you specifically what that means, right? So I'm not here to tell you that a career path should look like this or a career path should look like that. I'm here to give you the tools in order to find that for yourself. So when we slide on over into the platform and we'll jump into this in just a moment here by going into Zello itself. Right, the first thing that I'd like to point out is on the left-hand side of the platform. And right, so you'll notice that on the left-hand side, there's what we call lessons. Right, there's what we call lessons. And for some of us, when we think about lessons, we think, oh, this is a whole lot of work. There's a whole lot of stuff that we need to do. The idea with these lessons is not to worry about, you know, putting together a whole lot of time in this. It's about being able to understand what opportunities come ahead of you and what those opportunities can lead to. All right, so a lesson in Zello, is, as you'll soon discover, is more than just you know, a teachable moment. It's about giving you the tools to make better decisions. Right? Ultimately, that's what it's for. So I ask everyone again to take this question one step further. If you had to make a decision today, if you had to make a decision today, 
would you pick between having a high paying job in a city or town that you dislike, a high paying job in a city or town you dislike, or having a low paying job in a city or town you love? What do you choose? Right, what do you choose? And again, go to menti.com. Use the code 96140126 to share your thoughts. But you have two options, a high paying job in a city or town you dislike or a low paying job in a city or town that you love. And there's no right answer. There's no wrong answer. It's just a personal opinion. And these are the types of questions that we'll be asking you during the lessons. We want you to take a moment to figure out what makes most sense to you. And if I slide over here and we take a look at our results, you'll notice that about 70% of us, 77% at this point, choosing having a low paying job in a city or town we love, whereas a little over 20% of us want a high paying job in a city or town that we are not fond of. And again, completely up to you, completely up to you. But the idea here is for you to take a step back and really start thinking critically about what you define as success. And ultimately, that's the question I want you to have at the back of your mind. Anytime you jump into Zello, anytime you have a conversation with an educator or counselor, your parents, is what you are defining as a successful future. And it's only your definition that matters. So when we slide back into Zello, right? So as I slide back into Zello, not only will you notice the lessons that, again, will help you make those decisions that will help you take steps forward, you'll notice that on the middle of your dashboard, you'll find here what are called the assessments. And the assessments rank from the matchmaker, the personality style, mission complete, where we ask you what you like and what you don't like. Right, what do you like and what you don't like? And then we'll also go ask you through what's called the skills lab, what type of skills you'd like to use in the future. For example, if you think about it right now, and I just asked you, right, how frequently would you like to use listening in a career? How frequently would you like to use writing? Or how frequently do you want to use math? It's completely up to you. But by answering these questions, right, what we'll do is we will show you different opportunities that exist. We'll say, hey, did you know that this career is an opportunity for people that enjoy similar things? And take it this way. Right, I, I think you can see um, I'm cool, right? I, I feel like I'm cool, but <laughs> I, uh, I listen to Spotify, I, I watch YouTube just as anyone else. And when you watch enough videos or you listen to enough music on Spotify, you get those recommended artists, right? Those recommended songs, those recommended videos. And those show up due to your interests, right? Spotify might say, hey, listen to this new artist because they're very similar to an artist that you enjoy listening to. That's what we're doing here, right? We're showing you things that are relatable based off of things that you enjoy. So whether you're building out your profile, which includes a ton of different information. I know a lot of you here are gonna be considering building resumes, whether it be for a first job or a recurring job or a new job that you're looking for, but you can build out your profile and use Zello to help build out your resume. Right? Download a PDF version of it. You can download it in a text file, edit it all over Google or Word, whichever you prefer. You can come out and use things like your storyboard, right? which will let you bring in your inspirations. And what I like to do and what I've done a lot in the past is I take the time to create what I like to just call an anchor. Right? I, I come back and I say, hey, you know what? I really like this career because of these reasons. And I bring things that I found all over the internet, right? And they could be Instagram posts, it could be YouTube videos, it could be Google images that you found, anything at all, right? Bring information in that is relevant to things that you are aspiring to become. 
Because when you sit down with your counselors later, they may not be able to 100% see what you're referring to, unless you give them some sort of real, real thing, right? Something that is that is accessible and and, and tangible. So with that storyboard in mind, with your profile being built, you can start exploring the different options that exist, right? So the about me is all about you. It's all about your profile, who you are, what you aspire to be. The lessons are all about learning about how to get there. And when you start putting it together, it becomes your exploration. You'll find careers and you'll notice that in my careers, I have my matches that are listed. An excellent match, a good match, a fair match, a poor match. If there's a career that does not interest you, you can hide it. Again, these matches are not telling you that you need to become a foreign language instructor or a corporate trainer for that matter. What they are telling you is that based off of your interests, if I click on this corporate trainer, there's a link here that says find out why. And it tells me based off of my interests, because I like training, because I like explaining ideas and persuading and motivating people, this gives me an excellent match. There are additional aspects to this career that maybe I'm not too fond of, like selling or encouraging sales, but as a whole, this is a pretty good match for me because I share interests with others that have followed in this path. Same rules apply for the skills lab, right? The skills lab will ask you how frequently you like to use skills. And I mentioned a few examples earlier, listening, there's critical thinking, math, reading, science. How frequently do you like doing these things? And again, we'll, we'll give you ideas that you may not have heard of before. So to reiterate, no one here is telling you what to do. What we are doing though, is giving you opportunity to find something new, to find something you may not have heard of before. And as you scroll down this list, you'll find a bunch of information from interviews to whether it matches your personality style, You'll find salary information for a variety of states. Both hourly wage and yearly salary are broken down. If you're wondering, how do I get to my end goal? Right? Maybe personally, my end goal is becoming a training director. But I know as a training specialist, I need to get a little bit of experience first. Maybe I need to get a master's degree. The idea here is that you have goals that you can set and you can make them achievable. If anyone here is interested in going to you know, college or university, there are related majors. So I could, for example, look at adults and continuing education and teaching. By scrolling down, I'll find schools in California or really any other state that offers maybe a major that interests me. And the best part about this is that eventually, if you do decide to go to college or university, you can open up any of the school profiles and browse through them. You'll find tons of information. And the best thing about this again is when you get to the end, we have a nice campus map. And I know everyone here is familiar with Google Maps. But if you've never used Pegman before, you can pick Pegman up, draw Pegman into different areas of the school just to give you an idea of what you know, the facilities were like, give you an idea of what the school itself is. You can walk around, check things out. Just to give you an opportunity to experience what this school has to offer. And when you've started putting all this together, right, is where your goals and plans will come. You're going to start building a plan and you're going to say, okay, you know what? This is what my plan looks like. This is what I'd like to do next. This is maybe a school I'm interested in. This is a career I'm interested in. And this is where you can start putting together all of those pieces we've talked about. 
So you've learned about every aspect of getting ready for life after high school through the lessons. You've shared your own self-image through the About Me section. You've explored the options that are offered to you through careers and schools and majors. And now you're putting together a plan that helps you achieve that. Now, I'd like to ask another question to the group. So if you go to Mentimeter, once again, go to Menti, so menti.com. There's a little poll going on over there that asks which pillar of discovery you're most excited about. Are you most excited about lessons, the about me section, exploration, goals and plans? So take a moment to go to Menti and share your opinion, share your thoughts. We almost have a three-way tie of excitement for Explore Options, the About Me, Goals and Plans. Good. I'm enjoying this excitement. So I want to see. That's what I want to see. All right, let's slide on over again. We'll take this conversation in a slightly different direction, in just a slightly different direction here. Now, I know that I alluded earlier to Oops. New feature that we're currently in the process of putting together. Now, the thing is for parents, we don't want you to feel left out, right? We want you to have access to a platform that will give you a lot of information. Maybe you have to follow along with your children, seeing how things are going, tracking some of that progress. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna share with you just a little demo of what that will look like. So currently what I've done is I've logged into a family, a family. that was close. I almost said a, a portal and family at the same time. Family account. So I've logged in through our family portal into the Zello family account. And for family members, what you'll encounter is something that's very relatable because on the right-hand side here, you'll have your very own demo student account. So if any parents out there are listening and do you want to try things out for yourself, some of the lessons that we've discussed, you want to create your own profile, you want to explore your own opportunities, you'll have access to all of this through your own demo account. But most importantly, is you'll have the ability to open up your children's profile and say, take a look at how things are going, what personality style, to the suggested clusters they've received, look at the career matches based off of the assessments, explore the experiences and the storyboard elements that have been added to your children's profile, review the saved options. So if they've saved careers, schools or majors, you have the ability to review their plans, maybe sit down and have a conversation over what plans we're looking at. We have our lessons as well. 
So for those of you that have shown interest in the lessons and learning more about, let's say, what does financial like look like after graduation? What does program prospects mean? What does career demand mean? You can open up any one of these lessons and sit down, maybe have a conversation over what some of these answers may look like, making sure that we're all on the same page in terms of understanding what our futures entail, assignments that have been completed, other family members that have the ability to view your children's accounts. You'll have a full list of that as well. So the idea here is to give you full transparency. As a parent, you will have the ability to see everything that is happening in the platform and giving you, you know, a lot of connection. I'm speaking from experience, helping those like myself and Julia and the entire staff at Poway that are really working hard for our students to take that next step. Right? We want to invite you to participate in that conversation as well. So with that being said, with that being said, we do have one last question on Mentimeter. And if there are any questions for me, please throw them in the chat. But before you go, take a minute, let us know that now that you've seen Zello and you've learned a little bit more about it, what do you foresee as your next step to a successful future? Let us know again in Menti. If anyone has any questions, we will be sharing today's slide deck. As mentioned earlier, this is also being recorded, so we will have the ability to share this as well. And I'll go through the chat here just to answer a few questions that have popped up. So some are asking if we make a mistake and hide something. So if you hide a career, for example, well, is there a way to bring that back? There absolutely is. So you can bring everything back so nothing is hidden permanently. You'll find those under your saved options. So if I take a look here in our platform and I'll show you in just a quick moment how to access elements that have been hidden. So let's open this up. So for anyone wondering if you are accidentally or purposely hit a career, when you click the hide button, it will say this. You can manage this missed careers under the more filters section on your Explore Careers page. So you can hide the career. If you want to unhide it, you'll see under more filters. If you scroll down, you'll see here that you can unhide all hidden careers. So yes, you do have the ability to unhide any careers that you may have added. For those asking, so parents question here, how do parents log in? Currently, logging in for parents is not yet active, but we will let you all know as soon as it is. We're working really hard with the district in getting all parent accounts set up. But as soon as that done, you will have the ability to log in. I'll throw the website on the chat for parents in case anyone wants to make note of it for future purposes. But you'll simply be logging in at login.zello.world. So for any parents that are wondering how do they log in, once accounts are active, you'll be notified and you'll be able to log in at login.zello.world. Um, really quick, I'm gonna jump in, Andrew. There's a couple of questions that actually I can answer. Uh, one of them was, what is my plan and where can they access this? My plan is accessible for all students. Um, they know where that is. You can also find, uh, that's how they log into many of the things that they use, their classes, uh, like their Canvas classes or other tools. Um, they can find access to that also from every school's website, as well as the Poway Unified School District. Um, it's there. Um, also, uh, in terms of whether the students know about this, there are some students who, who, already, uh, are, who already know about it. Um, it's been employed at their schools. Uh, three of the schools right now actively use it. Um, and so that word is starting to get out. I know at 
at Rancho Bernardo High School where I work, we're using it currently, um, but it's, it's rolling out. So hopefully that answers the question. And then um, in terms of the last piece, how is Zello different from Naviance? It's, it's a different platform. I don't wanna go into all the different specifics, um, but Zello offers some things. Um, one thing, good thing about Zello uh, for us is that um, all the features that they build in is it's not an a la carte type of a deal. We get all of um, within the plans that we have, we're able to access Zello. And as soon as they add a new feature, we get that feature without having to pay extra to get that feature. So that's one thing that's different um, uh, with Zello than Naviance. So I'll stop there. And we are about at, we have about two minutes before many of you who are going to go to other, um, to some of the other sessions uh, need to get, get going and, and get over there. If you have any other questions, you can always reach out to me. Um, I will put my name, I will put my email in the chat. Um, but thank you for coming in. Thank you, Andrew, for being here and being such a great presenter. And uh, I hope you guys all have a great night. Uh, just remember that recordings of the, uh, each of the recordings will be accessible through the same link that you accessed uh, tonight's meeting from. So those won't go up for a couple of days. So just be patient. Um, uh, but we will have those up there as soon as possible. Thank you guys. Appreciate everybody. Thanks for coming. Andrew, do you have an email you want to drop in the chat? I'm not sure if you have something or of somebody from Zello that they can drop in the chat. I saw uh, that was a question. Yep, absolutely. I can throw mine in there as well. So I throw mine in the chat as well in case anyone has any questions. Okay. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to stop recording now. Um.